Hey everyone and welcome back to Made to Order a la Orden. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so so that you don't miss any of these great recipes. Okay, so I am so excited because today I am making a recipe that has been so highly requested on my social media and here on my channel. Today I'm making pernil, which is a holiday must have for all Dominicans and I know that Puerto Ricans also make this for Christmas. So if you wanna learn how to make this dish, then just keep watching. Okay, so ask any Dominican about Bernie and they're gonna tell you that that is one of their favorite dishes because it is something that we have for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for New Year's, Sweet Sixteens, wedding, you name it, there's going to be some Bernie. And with that being said, there are a bunch of different ways to making Bernie. And today I am so proud, and I mean proud, to show you how my grandmother made Bernie, which is slightly different than some of the other ways that people make Bernie, but nonetheless, this bad boy with all of these seasonings is going to taste phenomenal and I have all the ingredients listed for you right here. Making a bernie is truly an art but don't worry because I'm going to walk you through it step by step. And the first step is you want to poke holes in your bernie on both sides using a crisscross motion like you see me doing here. Then we're going to wash the bernie with vinegar, lime juice, and water, and we want to rub it in on both sides. And we wash our bernie because we want to get rid of that super porky taste, and we also want to kill some bacteria. Be sure to let your bernie sit in this water for about five to 10 minutes and then drain it. Now we're going to move on to making this awesome marinade by combining the garlic and the onions first in a food processor. Now, you can do this step by hand by using a pilon just like my grandmother did, but that takes up so much time and I find that using a food processor works just the same. Next, we're going to add the salt, the oregano, the cumin, the thyme, the black pepper, the sopita, and we're gonna blend that together as well. Now, I will tell you guys this, the trickiest part to seasoning a bernie is the salt because you don't want your bernie to be super salty, but at the same time, you don't want it to be bland. Now, as a rule of thumb, I always make note of how much my bernie weighs, and then I take that weight and I divide it by half, and then that lets me know the maximum amount of salt that I can use for this bernie. So for example, my bernie today is seven pounds, so I'm using three tablespoons of salt, and the max I would ever use is three and a half tablespoons of salt for this very particular bernie. Now we're going to add our bitter orange juice, and you guys already know, if you don't have bitter orange juice, just mix together some orange juice and some lime, and you get the same thing. And no worries if you make a mess just like I did here. And last but not least, we're going to add some olive oil and blend it one last time. And now for my favorite part of this whole entire thing is marinating the bernie. I do encourage you guys to wear gloves because this marinade has a ton of garlic and you don't want your bare hands smelling like garlic for two days. So what you pretty much do is you pour the marinade over your bernie and then you massage it, making sure to get into the holes. Now, I know this looks weird, but anyone who's ever made a bernie knows that this is part of the process and your guests, and more importantly, your taste buds will thank you for this later. Now you wanna wrap your bernie super tight and let it marinate overnight so that all those flavors can do its thing. Now before we roast our bernie, we're actually going to boil it. And I know that might seem weird for some of you, but hear me out. This is how my grandmother made it, and this is a game changer because it practically guarantees that your bernie will be juicy. So what you pretty much do is, you put your bernie in a big pot, pour the marinade all over it, and then pour a cup of water. And then you're gonna wanna boil it on a low to medium flame, 
and you wanna also check up on it for time to time, making sure that the water doesn't dry up. And you wanna boil it for about 45 minutes to an hour. Now we're going to get the brini ready to be roasted. And you wanna remove it from the big pot where it was boiling and put it in some aluminum pans. Then you're gonna to wanna to pour all of that marinade over your brini again. This is also the time when you're gonna to wanna to turn on your oven and heat it to 350 degrees. And wrap it tight with some aluminum foil. We're now going to slow roast our brini for three to three and a half hours covered. And it's important that we roast it covered because we're going to ensure that our brini is as juicy as it can be. As the brini is roasting, be sure to check on it from time to time. And when you check on it, also be sure to baste it as well because this ensures that once again, it's as juicy as it can be and tasty as it can be as well. Now, for the last hour and the fourth hour, we're going to take away the aluminum foil and baste it one last time. Then, we're going to remove half of the liquid. And we're going to do this because when we roast the brini uncover for that last hour, it's going to brown up and get that beautiful color and it's where all our hard work is going to pay off. Once your brini has roasted for a total of four hours, be sure to broil it for five to 10 minutes to get super crispy skin like you see here. Nothing says it's holiday season in my house like the smell of freshly roasted brini. And let me tell you, this brings me back to my childhood because my grandmother would start roasting the brini at five o'clock in the morning. So imagine, you're waking up to the smell of garlic, pork, oregano, and thyme. It was the best feeling, and let me tell you, it makes me miss her so much, especially around the holidays. Guys, thank you so much for watching Made to Order a la Orden. If you have any questions on this recipe, visit my website, chefzcooks.com, or see the description box below. And follow me on social media because I have a ton of pictures, recipes, and tips all for you guys. Alright, I'll see you next week with an all-new video. You buen provecho!